आपका पैसा जोला इससे बहुत खुश होगा तो, तो होगा ही gets locked at drugs and narcotics. Sylvia? Hello. Oh, now, where did I 
The plane tickets. Of Sam. course. And um, the agency recommended a nanny. Uh, oh, yes, her name's Amber, and she'll be waiting for you at the hotel. And there'll be a car at the airport, just near the baggage claim, you know, with one of them signs, Dr. Richard Avery. <laughs> Come on, Sam, your snack's ready. Amber's a nice name. Hey, Dad. Hey, buddy. How was school? Good. Really good? Really good. Come on. I want you to eat all this supper, and I don't want any of this milk left. Right? So, Sam, you excited about Christmas in India? Uh-huh. Okay. I've got Sam's bags all packed, so you won't have to worry about that. Well, I guess that is everything then, isn't it? What would I do without you, Sylvia? <laughs> I really don't know, but I am glad you've decided to take him with you. He needs some time with you. Yeah. I'm glad to. Sam? 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 Sam, wake up. Mommy? No, Mommy? no, 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 you just had a nightmare. You okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah, are you sure? Mm-hmm. Okay. Are you, um, looking for anything in particular? A Lucifer. Is that like a bear? Mm-hmm. Well, you're not gonna find any up here. Bears hate to walk upstairs. Are you sure? <sighs> Trust me. I know my grizzlers. Let's get you back to sleep. We've got a long flight tomorrow, okay? Here. Put Charlie in charge. You don't have any more nightmares tonight. Okay? All right. Thanks. You ready? Get out of the way, please. How's that? Good night, Sam. No, 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 I'm not Dr. Yevchenko. Um, are you going to the medical conference? Dr. No, 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 I, I'm, not, I'm not the doctor on your sign. I'm looking for my driver, I'm Dr. Richard Avery. I'm driving. No, no, I understand that, but um, do, do you speak English? Oh, yes, I speak. Right, terrific. Thank you. Thank you very much.
help you, sir? Dr. Richard Avery. I believe I have a reservation. Ah, Dr. Avery, we've been expecting you, sir. Did you have a pleasant journey? Uh, yes, pleasant, but uh, long. <laughs> yes, sir, it's quite a distance. I hope now that you're here, you'll be able to relax and enjoy a very pleasant stay with us. Yeah. Um, I don't suppose a, a woman by the name of Amba has been looking for me? She's a nanny from the agency? I'm sorry, sir, not that I know of. May I see your passport and a credit card, please? Yes, I, I understand that, but I don't feel comfortable leaving Sam with someone I've never met or seen references for. All right, get in tomorrow in the lobby. With references? Okay, thank you. Ah, Sylvia didn't forget. Sylvia never forgets. Dad, we don't need a nanny. We can talk about that later. Come on, let's get you to bed. I'm not tired. Yeah, but we got a big day tomorrow, and you gotta get an early start. Besides, it's um, it's almost 8 a.m. back home. Dad, I'm always awake at 8 in the morning. Oh, funny guy, huh? Yeah. You know what happens to funny guys? Take it. I don't know. Oh. Hey, you better watch it. Excuse me just for a moment. Mm -hmm. Is she all right for you, sir? I don't know, Rocco. There's something about her. It's just... I don't really feel good even saying with her. I understand perfectly, sir. I'll send her on her way. Uh, would you like me to try to find someone else for you? Promise to be good? Yes. Do everything I say? Uh-huh. Put your hand on top of your head. Cross your heart. Uh, you gotta change that shirt. Yes! Pretty amazing, huh? Some really big words. <sighs> Young man, what did I say? I'm not bored. I'm not bored. Okay. You sit tight. I'll be back real soon. Okay. How do you do, sir? Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed colleagues, fellow doctors, I'd like to welcome you to the International Health Organization's third annual biomedical seminar. And now it's my great privilege and pleasure to introduce Dr. Richard Avery, who has come here all the way from Hollings Institute in San Diego, the United States. Welcome, Dr. Richard Avery.
Thank you. I am honored to have been asked to give my opinion here today, even if the topic is inherently terminal to your livelihoods. <laughs> As the 21st century begins, we in the medical community find ourselves on the verge of a scientific revolution. While the last century belonged to pharmaceuticals and to the technological gold rush, the new millennium will be the era of genetics and bioengineering. Now, it is easy to become caught up in the excitement of this new frontier. When Solera broke the human genome code, it was widely accepted that a wellspring of medical knowledge, no, medical knowledge, understanding, and uh, cures would uh, spring forth. There is, however, a, a, a parent. <laughs> I'm sorry, just a moment. Excuse me, there was a small boy sitting here. Just here. Sam! Excuse me. Did you see a small boy here just... Thank you. You were sitting close to my son. Did you see him leave? Yes, sir. Yeah. Are these the stairs to the bathroom? Did, did a small boy go up to the bathroom? No? You're sure no, nobody came by here? Sam! Yes. Oh, my. His son he seemed to disappear. He was sitting in his seat and now I can't hide him. I'm going to get Would you please thank you very much? Sam? Okay, Perhaps he's just outside. He's going to be too far. Thank you. Security statement? Yes, sir. Excuse me, Dr. Avery. This is Senior Inspector Vijay Kumar. How do you do, Doctor? I'm Julia Hyde. You're American? Yes, I am. I've been assigned here as part of an anti-terrorist unit. You think Sam was kidnapped by terrorists? Well, we cannot rule that out at this moment. But kidnapping for money is very common in India. Inspector Kumar works in the narcotics division, but we've both had previous experience with situations like this. So I've asked for his help. Where's the kidnapper's known? Have you called your wife? No, I'm a widower. I'm sorry to hear that. I have your child. Answer your hotel phone tonight for instructions. Call the authorities and he dies. If they find out you're here, they'll kill my son. As a general rule, they all say that it doesn't mean anything. I don't care about general rules. Listen. And you found the note under your son's seat? Security did, yes. Did anyone sitting here see who left this? It was dark. I guess they were all looking at me. Did you and your son meet anyone last night, or was he talking to anybody that you can recall? No. No one who would do something like this. You cannot be sure about that, Doctor. We'd like to be at your hotel tonight when he calls, see if we can get a trace. I can't risk that. You're letting your emotions get the better of your judgment, Doctor. It's your decision, but you should hear the facts. Which are? When the police are not involved, most kidnapped victims are not returned alive. 
And if I do decide to go alone? It's police policy to respect the wishes of the parent. If we were to intervene and something should happen to your son, well, that's something nobody wants. You're not making this easy on me. Unfortunately, there's nothing easy about this. Doctor, if I gave you medical advice, you would say, leave it to the experts. I think you should do the same. It's your decision. disobeyed me. Please do not insult my intelligence as well. That's not my intention. Do you play games, Doctor? Games? This one is called Guess. Your room is full of buyers running across the floor. And a policeman is listening to our conversation, smoking a cigarette. Am I correct? Keep in mind, if you lie to me, I will kill your son. So tell me, Doctor, am I correct? Yes, you're correct. Very good. I made a mistake. Just tell me what you want. No more police. I'll call again later when we are alone. If I even think you are talking to the police, it's over. When? When will you call? That's my decision. You just need to be ready. I don't want to wait. Be grateful you are being given a second chance. There will not be a third. Understand. One more thing. The policeman just stubbed out his cigarette. He wasn't bluffing. Did you get a trace? Not enough time. What do you mean, not enough time? Look at Pate. And did anyone check to see that no one saw us coming? Okay, okay, let's just settle down. Richard, next time I want you to work no. for that. No. You had your shot. I just need to Forget keep... it, okay? This is my son's life. I'm not gonna risk it. Big mistake. Trust me. I did trust you. You can leave. Listen, doctor, this it. Okay. Come on, come on. Let's back our things and leave. Come on, tell him. Run it us on the floor. Here's my card, if you need us. Come on, come on. Sleeping well? Where's my son? He's asleep now. He asked me to tell you hi. How do I know he's all right?
He's a smart boy. What do you want? I have money. I can do... No. We will discuss that later. This is... A beeper. That is your son's lifeline. Do what it says, and he will come to no harm. I am good with the blade. I have no interest in killing a small boy, but I will do what is necessary. If you harm my son in any way, I swear to God... You will what? Hunt me down and kill me? You will not. You don't know who I am, and you never will. You think you can keep searching, but this is India, Doctor. One child's life, more or less, is nothing. You will grieve, and that is all. Tomorrow, I will send instructions. Follow them. I will. I have promised. I hope you do, for the sake of your son. Hey, 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 hey,
The train station is about 45 minutes from here by taxi. These other numbers, I really don't know, sir. I wish I could be of some more help. Thanks. Thanks a lot.
money. No one told me to bring any money. I never got a message about any money. So long. Yeah, so long, right. Is this for me? This American doctor, the guy whose kid is kidnapped, and five minutes later, he comes out with a bag full of opium. He's got guts, man. Good morning, ma'am. Medical lab, me jao. Doctor Purushottam se ye sab report lekar aao. Chuti hai ki tarah aada kam nahi karne ka. Samjhe jao. What do you want? Did you order surveillance of Richard Avery? That's none of your business. No, it is my business, Hi. and I want an answer. Hi, just leave it alone. Do you realize you're putting that child's life in danger? I've been in this force for 18 years. Well, then you would you know that you're acting against police how policy. To do my work. No, you're up to something, Hi. and I'm going to figure Hi. it Don't out. Don't fuck with Kumar. me! I'm... Kumar, decide. I want to see you both in my office. What's the problem? This silly woman, Kumar, this, this hide woman is not only interfering in my case, she's also coming and questioning me about my work. He's telling the American doctor, which happens to be my case. The doctor, he asked us not to interfere. Yes, he did. And if the kidnapper sees us... We have evidence that he may be dealing in drugs. What evidence? He was seen picking up three kilograms of opium. Who's opium? It was a bait. Sir? It was a bait for Zolo, and the American doctor took it. Okay, assuming it's true. It is true. We have photographs to prove that. Well, there must be some explanation. I mean, maybe the kidnapper's using him. Avery is no trafficker. Whatever. I cannot take that chance. Why is that? Sir, Zolo and the doctor are both Americans. We all know it. Many parents stage these kidnappings for their personal gains. This is Avery's first time in India. He's a respected doctor. He has no prior record. It just doesn't make sense. I've been working on Zolo's case for a very long time. I cannot let this go now. I request you, sir, we must continue the surveillance.
I'm sorry, Miss Hyde. Kumar, you may carry on. But be careful. I don't want the kidnapper and the doctor to know. Thank you, sir. All right. It must be her time of the month. Kumar. Sorry, sir. me to stay off the case. So why are you here? Because it's still my case, and because I don't want to see anything bad happen to you or Sam. And if you try and do this alone, chances are something will. Sorry, Julia. I made my decision. Look, Richard, the police do things differently here, and it's not always... I understand. Does that include Inspector Kumar? I'll respect your decision, but you'll at least need someone to talk to, someone who has more experience in things like this. It's my personal number. I'm your only child? Yeah, yeah. Do you have kids? No. You really do change your life. Yeah, that's what I hear. Maybe I just haven't met the right guy. Um, well, that's what my mom says anyway. <clears throat> I, I work a lot. Yeah, I understand. When, uh, when we had Sam, I said, well, Maybe this will make me a better person. Has it? No. Not really. I was, um... I was hoping this trip would make me a better father. Maybe it has. I'm gonna get Sam back. Yeah, it's probably someone from the conference just calling to check on things. Oh, I'm sorry. Be careful. Yeah, yeah, well. Julia, thanks. There's a club called YIA. It belongs to a man called Zolo. A club? What, uh, what kind of club? I believe it's a disco circle. The true name is Euthanasia, YIA. How do I get there? I'll get you a taxi, sir. But, sir, please be careful. Some of the crowd out there is not the most desirable. Help me out. I'm looking for someone. And what makes you think that we can help you? Got something he wants. Boom, you he, man. Zolo. Zolo? Who is Zolo who? Who Zolo? Zolo who, man? Who's Zolo? I'm really mad if you guys don't help me out. Now you are making me mad. You're making me don't crazy. Don't make okay? us mad, all right? Now you're making me God crazy. Yo! How do you get this? 
you, Zolo? No. Where did you get that? I'm only talking to Zolo. Are you stupid? I got something he wants. And I think you know what I'm talking about. No. Why don't you tell me? I got his goddamn opium, for Christ's sakes. Please. Come with me. You have something for me. Yes, but let me explain. Bring what? it to me. I will. But my son... Bring it to me. Now. Can I explain the circumstances? This is very simple. Do you have my merchandise? Yes. Then bring it to me. That's it. That's not it. You want to bought it? With me? No. No, I just want my beeper back. You what? My beeper. Whoever you are paging has my beeper. I need it back. It's important. Must be. Must be very important. And you're right. You have no choice. I'm not negotiating over a beeper. Get another one. If I don't get it back, I might as well be dead. All right. What's so important? You had no business seeing the doctor today. I don't work for you. You work for the department. Don't worry, I didn't tell him you were following him. So you stopped by for some chai? Or something else? The man's son is missing. My damn drugs are missing! And he has them. And you know that very well. Maybe too damn well. If you have something to say, then say it. Otherwise, I have work to do. Yes, I have something to say. Next time you want to play doctor, doctor, just call me. That is some story. Yes. I just have to get that beeper back by midnight, which gives me less than five hours. We're talking about half a million in opium. We're talking about my son. I can't afford to care. You better care about my son. Let's get one thing straight. Not me me isn't the smartest move you can make. I don't have many moves left. All right. Tell you what, bring me the bag, and I'll see what I can do. I can't do that. I don't see that you have many options left. Half a million ought to buy me at least a couple of options. What do you suggest? You and I go get the beeper from that guy. 
Let me get the bag. It's not fair. You got balls, Doc. That's the only reason you're still alive. Okay, let's go. Johnny is? No. Yeah. No, you wouldn't hold down on me, right? No, you have to be having to. One more stop. your excuse. Oh, ma'am, I have to finish up this paperwork. Yeah, well, you guys are big on it. Amazes me you get anything done for your forms and signatures. Are those the Zolo files? Oh, yes, ma'am. They're a mess. Yeah, I can see them. And with the opium, it's even worse. Ten pieces of paper and six signatures. And if you miss anything, you've had it. Is there paperwork missing or drugs? Oh, both. It's a mess, ma'am. It's a big mess. Yeah, well, I'm sure if anyone can sort it out, it's you, Ganesh. Good night. Thank you, ma'am. Good night. Hide want. Nothing, sir. Nothing? What was she looking at? A uh, uh, Zolo case file, sir. this place? A place you never come. Wait here. Unless you see something you like. Very funny. Do you like to play with me? No, no, thank you very much. Are you from America? Yes, yes. Are you coming What's with your... me? Oh, yes. No, no. What was that all about? No, I'm angry. Something in our right, Johnny, has just disappeared. No one's seen him. This whole thing has a bad taste. I'm backing out. You joking? I don't do opium. It's addictive. You're a doctor. You should know that. I can't believe I'm giving it back to you. Not after seeing who you sell it to in there. Save the morality lesson. I get enough from my mother. This girl is just a teenager. Not anymore. You think you're better than me? We all deal something, Doctor. Some lie or injustice, some vice to get what we want. Trying to save your son with a bag of opium. We all got our reasons.
I don't know. What time is it? Almost night. Look, Doc. I've done all I can. So, let's get my stuff and say goodbye. That is not our agreement. The only agreement we have is that I will kill you right here, right now, if we don't get my shit this minute. I don't care about the half a million, Doc. I will not be made a fool of. We still have a couple of hours. My son is just... Fuck you. Uncle, look at this Haramzadeh ke likya kya karna padta hai unko. Maa bhi pahunch raha hai. Yoni zet hum. It's your night, Doc. You're a lucky man. Get in. Sorry, miss. Sorry, madam. Sorry. Sorry, madam. Sorry, miss. Sorry. Sorry. Johnny's got some place, huh? Let me come here in the first place. Because he's never here, wise ass. You want a drink? No, thank you. I do. Here, we celebrate. Here's to you still being alive. <laughs> Here's to your son. You know, seeing you makes me maybe want to have a son. <laughs> I think you might be in the wrong business. <laughs> you don't think I know that? You think I do what I do out of choice? Yeah, we all make tough choices. If I stop tomorrow, I'd be dead by sunset. And I don't want to die, you understand? Yeah. Well, living isn't just about surviving. Hey. Hey. <laughs> now it's your turn to survive. Come here, hand it over. When you give me my opium, you'll hear it if it goes off. Gotta do what a man's gotta do. So, where is it? Don't take it personally. A little housekeeping. They'll clean it up for you. Oh man, this is beautiful. One moment, Mr. Zorro, and I will be eternally grateful. Bad move. Hey, Kumar, what the hell? 
This guy here invited me up for a drink. Salim. Show me. Put it inside that wall. You know my son is in trouble. Just spring the drugs out. Drugs? I had no idea. Shut up! Let's go. Show me the drugs. I want to speak to Julia Hyde. Fuck Julia! I'm in charge here! drugs from the train station and then I've told you ten times I went to the hotel look my son will be dead if I don't get out of here right now you tell me the truth and we can both help each other I've told you the truth you don't want it look let me talk to my consulate or something. I've got to get out of here! Damn it! Where is the opium? I don't know! My son's life is at risk, you bastard! A thousand children's lives are at risk because of Zolo and his trucks, and you bastard! You work for a drug! You no, I don't! You work for the no, drug! No, I don't! You no, know I don't! You work for no, I don't! You know I don't! Come on! Ready, drug. Outside. You can go for now and join your other friends. Salim, go the venture. Save my ass. I don't know. Then I don't owe you. Everybody out. It's 11 o'clock, for Christ's sake. Tension's high, isn't it? What the fuck? What the fuck 
turn around this time. Oh! You even know how to use it? I think so. Now empty your pockets. I'm watching too many movies, Doc. Here. Get the fuck out of here. It's not the right one. It's the only one I got. I want the one Johnny had. Johnny's dead! The boys found him a couple of hours ago, the bullet in his head. That's the one Tiger got from his house. If that's not the one, I don't know where the fuck it is. Put that gun down. I've done what I could for you. One of my own's dead. Yours may still have a chance. No. Oh, fuck. Oh, you think you are? <coughs> Tricking me all over town for that shitty little beeper. It's not Johnny. What? That's Johnny. That's the guy we've been looking for all night. That's not the guy I ran into in the market. Then how'd you get his beeper? I don't know. I think we're both being jerked around here. We ought to do something about it. Responsible parent. Figured you'd come back for the ransom. Well, at least you're a clever man, Doctor. Or are you? I think so. You have the opium, don't you? What? No, would he come back? Come on. You've been watching me. You're the only one who could have seen me hide it. So tell me. Sit down. I don't think so. Drop the gun. Drop the gun. Now. Now where's my son? He will be dead if I don't get back in time. The fuck are you? <laughs>
need your help. Yeah, what's going on? Well, I think I know who kidnapped Sam. What? Yeah, it's someone with the police, and I'm pretty sure Kamar's involved. Okay, but how? It's all about the opium. I think Kumar kidnapped my son, got me to steal the opium, stole it from me, and now he's trying to collect the ransom. Do you have any proof? It's the only way all the pieces fit. Right? All right, look, I want you to go back to the hotel. Julia. Richard, please, let me help you with this. Look, there's some things about Kumar that haven't set right. I can get sound back. Right. I want you to go back to the hotel, and I will call you in an hour, I promise. So, so, she thinks it's Kumar too. She wants us to go wait for her at the hotel. Give me your phone. Let's go. Let's go. There she is. Right there.
Don't move. She kidnapped Sam. He's right. She is lying. Shut up. Come on. No, I'm not going. I'm not. That's far enough, Miss Hyde. Your game's over. Hand me over the child. Vasu, arrest her. Get the gun from her. Give me the gun. The gun. Salim, get the child. <laughs> I want everyone to get in their cars and drive away. I want safe passage out of here. Agreed. Give me the boy. Don't fuck with me, Kumar. I'm not leaving without the boy. you asked for. We are leaving now. Ah. Everybody out now. Doctor, leave. Salim, get a car ready for her. Nice-looking boy. Your daddy loves you. You'd be a good boy. Nicole, bad guy. 